examination is where we will record uh, the fundus findings for the patient. So to get to the internal examination, first we open a patient record and then we click on the internal exam tab on the left side. So going top to bottom, uh, every time the patient has a fundus examination, we will need to put a date in here. When you add a new record, uh, it will automatically put in, of course, today's date. We can record our dilation drops here, and you can record them by um, typing. It drops in like that and adding it to the uh, record. Or uh, if you use the same drops uh, repeatedly, you can create a short list here of drops that you like to use and um, just click and save and it will record those drops to the record. If there's something in there that you don't want, you can simply click on the X to delete it. You can record the dilation time simply by double clicking and it will put in the current time of day. Next would be the cup to disc ratio. If the horizontal and vertical are the same, you can type in the horizontal and just tab and it will repeat the same value in the vertical. Same thing for the left eye. Next would be your tonometry readings and um, of course you can put these in here right and left and pachymetry readings. Method is the next text box down and here you would add the method that you used to obtain the um, IOP readings. So you can type something in here or you can have a list of the types of tonometers you have in the office that you may have used. Uh, whether you use a Goldman tonometer, eye care, uh, air puff, whatever that you use in the office, you can create a short list there and that will uh, be easy to put in there. And then for the time, uh, just double click and it'll put the time in. As we move down, um, you'll see that we have right and left uh, boxes for all the different observations that we might make on the inside of the eye, including uh, retinal nerve fiber layer thickness, macula thickness, and visual field and other imaging. So here, these work uh, similarly to the other um, tabs in that you can enter text here, and then add it just by hitting the plus. You can delete it by cl clicking on the X. You can use the predefined text boxes and create your own list of things that you think are important. And then just click and save those. There we go. Of course, you can bring data forward from a previous exam date just by clicking over there on the right. And it'll populate. Um, a drop-down box with the previous exams and you can just select one of those I'm going to cancel here and it'll populate all the boxes for you and lastly you can click the um, no apparent pathology button which will fill in uh, all the empty boxes uh, some interesting things about this page first of all uh, you can see I have a picture here on the right uh, of a fundus and all you do is hover the mouse over it and that will bring up the picture for you to view. If you want to add a picture, again, like the other tabs, all you have to do is grab a picture, drop it, and then that will add it to, we'll close this, the patient's record. You can see it's there already. And then all you have to do is hover, and it will pull up that patient's, uh, that picture for you to view. Another interesting um, feature of this particular tab is the Glaucoma Progress Visit Report. With this report, you'll be able to see a uh, synopsized history of this person's, this patient's glaucoma um, values that have been recorded over time. So you can see here, we start with September 2007 with the right and the left IOP, and you can see this graph where they've gone up and down over the years. Uh, uh, with the right eye being a little bit higher at his most recent visit. 
you'll also see the actual values here, okay, along with cup to disk and pack readings if they were taken. You'll see the list of pharmaceutical agents you prescribed for this patient over the years, and you'll also see any imaging that you've done over the years for this particular patient. In addition to that, we have a retinal nerve fiber layer report and a threshold visual field report that basically take the values from these text boxes here and puts them into a report format so that you can make comments on that.